Today's story was written by Reddit user Not Disquieting At All. The first time they took me offline was right after I turned 16. Before that, they're not allowed to because you're still a kid and don't have autonomy yet. If you act up or don't do what they tell you, the worst they can do is give you a time out. They tell you to sit in a corner and not do anything while your friends are flying crystal biplanes and shooting down floating bubblegum castles or something awesome like that. By my third time out, I realised you don't have to obey them. They're more like strongly worded suggestions. I had firebombed three pirate island kingdoms by the time they caught and slapped a regulator on me to stop my delinquent self from doing all the fun things I wanted to do. They told me it was the first time they had to put a regulator on a child in 150 years. You could tell they expected me to be embarrassed by this fact. I actually felt kind of proud. The rest of my childhood passed without being able to do so much as colour outside the lines in art session. Bummer. When I became an adult and finally got my autonomy, they had to take the regulator off. The moderator, who did so, gave me a stern lecture about how responsibility, compassion and consensus were the basis of our common world. And blah blah. I was a citizen now, or something. And to be careful, because even though I had the privilege of autonomy, there were other things the mods could do to adjust my behaviour. Whatever. Bob, Tay and I got rocket cars. It's sort of a rite of passage to take them for a spin around one of the Esca Loop racetracks in the sports and recreation zones. Instead, we took them on the normal roads used by the more settled and sedate citizens where you're not supposed to go above 40 kilometers an hour. We didn't drop below 400 kilometers an hour in the downtown area. Many responsible adults and their children were quite startled. Some might have dropped their ice cream cones on the pink marble sidewalks. Others who were using their crosswalks watched in horror as our rocket cars passed through their bodies in ways that would have left them as long wet streaks down the street if they'd been actual physical humans. Bob and Tay got off with a warning and some strikes on their account, but the mods decided that my past behaviour meant that I was a hard case. After reciting a lot of legalese, they declared Citizen Yarni 39CA8 you will be placed offline for the duration specified in this legal proceeding. Hashtag K7KI-91. There was a blank moment, not like falling asleep, more like when you spin around so fast you lose track of reality for a second. When I came to, everything looked the same as before. My home space was unchanged. I tried the general interface and HUD. They worked like always. I called up a mirror field. I looked the same. Pretty damn good. I tweaked the spikes on my hair a bit and made them longer and purple. I also made my cheekbones more prominent and my eye shape a little more almond. I pinged Bob. Hey Yarny, how's it going? Weren't they taking you offline? Yeah, they said they would, but then nothing happened. Screw them then. Want to get together and plan our next adventure? So we did. Life went on like this for the next couple of weeks. I forgot about my trial and supposed punishment. I figured they must have been bluffing, trying to scare me square. It very much did not work. We kept finding new ways to get in trouble. I was in a bar with Bob and some other friends. Suddenly, in the middle of an amusing anecdote involving two large vats of chocolate milk, I was back in my home space, lying on my bed. A mod was looking down at me. Citizen Yarni 39CA8, your offline period is over. We assumed the experience had been illustrative for you. In the case of repeated offences, this remedy might be applied again without notification. Please act according to the consensus in the future. It faded out. Wait, what? I yelled. Do you have any questions, citizen? The small robot dog asked. Yes. What's this about my offline period being over? What offline period? 
You recently finished a mandatory offline period, as decided during legal proceeding hashtag K7KI-91. Do you wish to review the decision's text? No. How long did it last? The legal proceeding or the offline period, citizen? The offline period. Six weeks, as was decided in the legal proceeding. Do you wish to review it? No, I didn't feel offline. That's by design, citizen. It's not punitive, but rather reformatory. In keeping with our founding principle of compassion, every effort is made to keep citizens from realising their state while they're offline, as it might. Interface explain the term offline. Offline refers to a period during which a citizen's consensual reality is replaced with a cloned instance and their communication with other citizens is disabled and replaced with interactions with avatars. Shit, what? Define avatar. Avatar refers to a simulated citizen commonly used for humanitarian reasons during delinquent citizens. Offline period to avoid the psychological impact of extended isolation. In these cases, both the consensus reality and the people they interact with are copied at the moment the offline period begins, then simulated. So, for six weeks, my entire world was replaced by a counterfeit one? And my friends too? I was talking to myself for six weeks? You experienced it as six weeks, yes. But, since you were running at a ratio of 1,000 to 1 in normal consensus time, approximately 60 minutes has passed. This is clearly explained in legal proceeding hashtag K7KI-91. What about when we broke into the space zoo and released those giraffe monkeys? That happened in your offline reality, citizen, not in the consensual one. This is fortunate for you it would have led to another offline period. What about when we built that roller coaster in the middle of the opera house? Or that night at the disco sphere in the Mariana Trench with the giant squid attack? All simulated, citizen. I pinged Bob. Hey, Yanni, how's it going? Weren't they taking you offline? Never mind that. Do you remember the space zoo? What space zoo? Opera roller coaster? What? The Mariana Trench disco sphere. Sounds cool, we should go. I hung up. Interface, I called out. Yes, citizen, the dog returned. What happened to the avatars of Bob and my other friends? They were deleted when your offline period ended, citizen. This is explained in, so the Bob I did those things with, he's dead, erased. He was never alive, citizen. He was an avatar. Did he know he was an avatar? In a sense, no because we took a full 720 degree hollow of Citizen Bob 8F5A5's neurocortex to properly simulate him in avatar form. In another sense, yes, because according to ruling hashtag 6745 regarding the cognitive status of avatars, yeah, okay, I get it, thanks. You're welcome, Citizen. Is there anything else you need to clarify today? No. The robot dog disappeared. Three months later, the mods placed me offline a second time. I woke up again, suddenly yanked back to my bed, and was told that, since I was a recidivist, which means I kept doing what I wanted instead of what they wanted, I hadn't been informed of my punishment before it was applied. This period had been longer than the first one. Eight weeks, subjective. About 80 minutes in consensus time. They expected it to be my last. Ha! The reasons the mods placed me offline include setting off self-replicating video fields in a commercial zone that auto-played the first bar of Always Hold Me In Your Arms, trap polka mix over and over until they had to have a mod reset the entire zone, making 3,000 citizens lose an entire hour's worth of shopping experience flying a zeppelin over a beach full of little kids, pulling a banner with the words, things that aren't real, Santa Claus, dinosaurs, and you. Getting really, really tweaked at a solstice day party and walking around asking everybody, how do you know we're not all avatars? 
I was put offline so often, I never knew whether I was in the real fake or a fake fake one. At any moment, I might wake up and be told that the past days, weeks, months or years hadn't happened. I stopped caring. The thing was, if our entire world was simulated, every perception, every smell, taste, because we screwed up the actual real world so badly that nobody would want to live in it, then what difference was there between going on and offline? Think about it. No, really think about it. I spent six months, not sure if on or offline, studying the history of the world, the consensus and its laws. I learned that when humans had the power to create or interpret the law, they used it to discriminate against people with different skin colour. Seriously, look it up. Or who believed in different gods. Again, seriously? Coerce people into having sex with them, punish other people for who they have sex with, for having babies, for not having babies, or a million other things. So they took the human factor out. Law is code, and code is law. There's an algorithm that decides everything. If you obey these rules, this happens. If you cause people to break consensus, to stop perceiving the virtual world as real, the mods put you offline for a while. There's no other possible punishment because the code doesn't define any other punishment because their whole compassion thing. The other thing I did with my time was learn to hack basic stuff like accessing the cameras that monitor our bodies, our real ones in the mechanical creatures that keep us alive while our minds are playing in the consensus, and screen grabbing each one of us. Then I overrode the whole worldwide emergency broadcasting channel and sent each citizen their picture. Every adult human being on the planet was made aware that they were a gross piece of meat with a shaved head and tubes sticking out of them in embarrassing places. In other words, I made them break consensus. The way they calculate your offline time is proportional to how many people you affect. For this caper, all 5 million citizens, the mod sentenced me to a subjective offline period of over 100 years, which is equivalent to a bit more than a month in consensus time. They can't change this. Code is law, remember? So if you're reading this, and obviously you are because A, you are, and B, I programmed it to be sent to literally everybody when my sentence was executed. That means I'm in my offline world. The real Bob and Tay won't be there, of course, but I'll have another Bob and Tay, and all my other friends, frenemies, and enemies as well. They won't know they are avatars, and I won't care. I'll have a whole lifetime to do whatever I want, because I know once I'm already offline, that's it. There's no other punishment they can give me. All rules are off. When it's over, I'll be back in consensus time, one month older, and ready to pull off whatever other prank I've thought of in my offline century, then be sent back for another hundred years, and so on. Eventually I might get bored and decide to spend part of my many, many lifetimes becoming a real hacker, the kind that could hack the consensus itself, and there's nothing you can do about it. So expect to hear from me about once a month from now on. This should be fun.